Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now earlier I discovered that one of my old AMD Athlon CPUs refused to fit in the socket. I thought perhaps my motherboard was incompatible, but after closer inspection it seems that quite a few of the pins had been bent, likely due to me mishandling it at some point. This is a super old CPU so it may seem like no big deal, but I thought why not try and fix it. After all, if this was a more expensive modern processor, it would seem like a pretty scary situation. But fixing bent pins is easier than it seems, and quite satisfying in some aspects too. So how should we go about this? Well, these are the tools I'm going to be using. A pair of tweezers with two very fine points at the end, an old and very blunt razor blade that's thin enough to fit between the rows of pins, and a jeweler's loop, or a very powerful magnifying glass. This isn't totally necessary, but if like me your eyesight is pretty bad, it helps a lot. This will also allow you to see each individual CPU pin with total clarity. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do here is check the rest of the processor for bent pins, in the meantime ignoring the clearly and severely affected area. There are a few pins that are a little wonky, so I'm going to run the razor blade between the pins, applying gentle pressure to straighten them out. This is why I recommend using a blunt razor, because I've accidentally sliced my hand on these before without even realising it, and unfortunately blood doesn't work as a decent thermal paste. Once we've got those few sorted out, it's time to take a closer look at the mainly affected area. Excuse my shaky hands here, trying to hold these two and film is somewhat more difficult than it seems. Once again I'm going to use the razor to straighten out the slightly bent pins here, and make sure they're all in line from every angle. It may look fiddly, but the blade makes it very easy to push and pull the pins into place, which are in fact very workable, and don't take much force to move. It's easy to see why they can be bent so easily, but it means that you don't need much force to put them back into place. I'm going to use the tweezers to manoeuvre the more awkward to reach pins, but don't pull upwards on them at all, as the last thing you want to do is rip one of them out. Now this may take a few minutes or hours depending on the damage to the pins, but just keep working at it with the blade and eventually the pins will start to look more and more like they did when you took your shiny new or bargain used processor out of the box. As you can see, my Athlon processor's pins are starting to look a lot better now, but I'm going to get the jeweler's loop out here and take a closer look at the pins and see if I can get them more in line. The ends of the razor can also come in handy, as the fine point will allow you to get under any really bent over pins and lift them up. After about 20 minutes of working on this CPU, it's time to test it out in the motherboard. You may have to try it a few times, as there might be one or two pins that you missed, or one of the rows might be slightly angled so the holes don't quite line up. That seems to be the case here, and as you can see, this pin here is the likely culprit. When there are 940 to look at, it's not hard to miss one or two. This time, the CPU fits, but it needed a tiny push on each corner to pop into the socket. Usually it should just slide into the holes, but the pins are probably a little bit off angle in some places, though you'll be able to feel when it wants to go in as opposed to when there's still something wrong. I'm going to lift the socket arm up and down a few times here to make sure the CPU is in the socket firmly. Now you won't get the pins perfectly 100% straight again like they were from the factory, but there is a tiny margin of error that means they don't have to be, though try and get them as neat as possible. With everything straightened out here, our CPU fits right back in the motherboard as it should, and even boots up perfectly without any issues. And I'm sure it'll be an even friendlier sight to those of you out there who have a more expensive Ryzen or FX CPU with a few out of place pins on it as well. As always guys, thank you for watching. I wanted to make this video because I think it can help a few of you guys out there who may have done a little bit of damage to your AMD processor. As always, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like on it. Leave a dislike if you didn't. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. I'm going to go and fix a few more broken processors now. And hopefully, I'll see you all in the next one.